Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to start a completely new show and this is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S. Okay, so uh, I've seen Kobayashi, Miss uh, Kobayashi Sanchino made the dragon in like you know it's been quite a while. I've seen it and uh, it came out quite quite a long ago, season one I'm talking about, and it was great and uh i loved the whole slice of life type of vibe mixed with some fantastic animation and kanna's cuteness like those were like the main like you know like things that really made me love this show so i'm quite looking forward to this and like uh i kind of checked out uh the previous season like you know kind of went through them like as a summary and i'm caught up with everything again as i said like it's been a while and i kind of forgot quite a few things so i'm caught up now and i know like you know like like i remember most of the stuff uh, especially the names and all like the names are completely forgot so it's all well and good and i am ready to start uh season two so this is the first episode of Kobashi Sans Dragon Maid season 2. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. And if you're new to my channel, uh, I do timer reactions because of copyright uh, problems. So yeah, like like all my videos in my channel are timer reactions. So that's just one thing that I wanted to uh, let you know if you are new to my channel. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. This is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S episode number 1. So. Yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> of course you're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ultimate mate. Oh, Maid Cafe. Oh, she's angry. Yeah. She's like, how dare they? <laughs> I'm the ultimate maid here. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> more and more. Yeah. Oh, she's really going there. All right. Oh. Yeah. What? This. Uh. <laughs> oh, so this is the opening. Let's see. Okay. I think I saw two or three new characters. Okay, this is quite catchy. Wow, they really did the opening, went all out for the opening. <laughs> oh my god, Kanna. <laughs> Okay, these are the new characters. Oh, the same, the same singer from season one. I can recognize the voice. Oh, she's also a dragon. Okay. Okay, so the, maybe the guy who was with the new dragon is someone similar to Kobayashi to Toru. Most probably. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, she's already ready for it. Oh boy. <laughs> well, it happens quickly. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's true, you know. <laughs> yeah, Daijobu. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, true. It's really different. Um Okay. Yeah. Yeah, go learn about stuff. Learn about the outside world. Let's see. I'm I think she's she's probably like a b big hit. Let's see. Oh. Okay. The moi moi kyun, no moi moi kyun. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Um. Whoa. Okay. Oh, sh she's in the kitchen. I was not expecting that. I thought she was going to like be the waitress or something like that. <laughs> hey, hey, chef. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. All right. Mm, not c technically made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kana, oh my god, Kana is... <laughs> Kobayashi is too serious about this. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, Kana makes your day like you know amazing. Oh no! Stop! What the hell is this? Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, she's both. Okay. Bring me the manager. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, our sales will plummet now. <laughs> oh God. Um. Okay. Wait, she's really teaching them magic. What? Okay, Fafn. I forgot the the guy's name. Uh, I know Fafnir, obviously. Oh no, is it is this this?
マコト OK メイドバイメイドファイスターウォーウハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハおっかっ、the face。All right, the barrier Uh, oh boy, the animation! Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy! Most radical way of the country. <laughs> Bill oh, still it's below. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the animation is so beautiful. What the hell? Yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god! Well, yeah, she has to save the. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. The dead spectator fact. Yeah. Yeah, she has to do this on her own, I guess. Ah, ah, two puddings. Okay. Ah, well, there you go. Oh my God! Like it's really difficult to actually, you know.
protect something and fight at the same time. Oh boy. Flaming acid. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh boy. All right, there you go. Okay, now she can fight all all out, I I guess. Uh, I hope. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy, she wasn't even able to transform properly. <laughs> Attacking mid, you know, in the middle of the transformation scene. <laughs> oh, what did she do? She transported her in some other dimension or something? Oh, boy. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it was a difficult battle. Like, what else could she even do? Ah, and she's a dragon. Like, you know, her instincts and stuff are completely different from a human. <laughs> her clothes got repaired. <laughs> okay. Boy. Okay, she's out. Oh no. Oh she he just transported herself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? What is <laughs> two million? What's this weird dance that's happening? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh boy. Well, she's back. Oh, there, there is Kobayashi. Yeah. And there she is. Oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> um. Oh my god. I think she's probably going to get pissed at this. Uh, sh that that's a girl. Yeah, she's having a big mistake, misunderstanding here. <laughs> uh, I knew it. She's going to get. She's going to get pissed. <laughs> oh God. Uh. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay. He's she's just like Kanna, like how Kanna was in the beginning. Like you know. Oh boy. Curiosity. <clears throat> Is she sleeping? <laughs> uh yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh. All right, let's hear it. Okay. Mm, yeah, like that's a part of life. Hmm. It differs. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh boy, some kind of past, I'm guessing. <clears throat> um, whoa, what is this? Did she transport her into some other dimension or something? Oh no, maybe not. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> that? I was not expecting that. What? Band? Which is band? <laughs> Why did he, he get banned? Did he like. We detected fire. I doubt he was hacking. So what did he do? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, that's the end. So ending song? Okay, so now we have five dragons. Yeah. No, five, not five, six dragons. Fafi is also here. Yeah, six dragons. <laughs> the, the, the homes where they live. <laughs> or, or maybe not. Let's see.
<laughs> ah, gao. Okay, that's the end. <laughs> you know what? I was really not expecting that in the end. Like, <laughs> like when he when she did the whole like thing that she did. I'm not sure what she did there, but you know, like brought out a little like energy ball or something. I thought, okay, like did she like transport her into some other dimension or like do something like that? Oh no, that's not what she did. <laughs> That really caught me off guard. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, but thinking about it, the thing that she, she said before, like, you know, like everything's, like, you know, everything's, like the main problem, she said something like the main problem is because you're a girl or something. <clears throat> so it kind of makes sense after the last scene. <laughs> oh boy. And okay, so this episode, first episode, really good start. And it is like, you know, like at, in the beginning, we see Toru kind of wanting to become like, you know, like she thinks she's the ultimate maid. So she goes to the maid cafe to be a maid. But unfortunately, she is a better chef than a maid. <laughs> and that like, you know, really does not sit well with her. All that stuff. Now, obviously, like <clears throat> there's a big difference between like as, as far as I've heard, like there's a big difference between the the maids in the maid cafe, the way they do stuff and actual maids in you know like households and stuff like like there's a big difference like how they do stuff like ma in maid cafe it's more like the whole like you know like uh, welcome back master and then the whole like oishikunare oishikunare moi moi kyun stuff <laughs> and like you know all that all those kind of things and like that's basically kind of done to attract more like you know more people uh, in the in the cafe and that's just like uh what do you call it like uh an influence from anime and manga because all in like i'm, I'm not sure i'm not sure where this actually came from you know this whole uh, maid cafe like you know thing that they do like like the whole like welcome back master and then the little spells that they do and sometimes they even click photos with the um you know like take pictures with the customers and all and this, uh, I think I've, I've heard, like, I've seen a, an anime where there's this kind of uh, point system where how many times a person comes in the maid cafe, they get, like, points. And, like, when it reaches a certain point, you can, like, you know, like, take a picture with the maid, your favorite maid. Or maybe you can, like, you know, get some kind, like, I don't know, like, uh, like some handshake or something. I, I, I'm not sure. Like, these type of things. Like, like th there's a lot of things like that. So, I'm not sure where this actually came from, but... I most probably think that this is because of the influence of anime and manga because in all the anime and mangas we see these type of things you know like uh, so maybe it, it, it's something like that I'm not sure but yeah like it, it's a lot different from actual household maids and maids in cafe maid cafe so <clears throat> like Ketoru goes there and uh, becomes the head chef and obviously she she's really like good at making like you know like food because she she, she does all the household work in kobayashi's uh, house and she's uh, like you know, she does the dinner and like you know food stuff that she do uh, the breakfast dinner and lunch all that thing all those things so she's quite accustomed to all of them so yeah that's why she was able to be really like you know effective and she's a dragon she has like superhuman reflexes so she was able to kind of like like toss all those omurais up and then like you know catch them at the same time <laughs> yeah okay and kana and kobayashi goes there for you know, a little to see toru and have a little meal <laughs> and uh, okay and then kobayashi uh, not kobayashi sorry uh, toru does a uh, unusual um what do you call that spell the instead of the whole moi moi kyun she kind of does a whole incantation and i don't know like puts what that was on on the omurice that purple goo <laughs> but yeah <laughs> that's just her showing her appreciation and love just that's just how she does stuff so <laughs> all right and then uh <clears throat> Then like we get to, to actual to the actual main portion of the like you know the, the main the character who's probably going to be on spotlight in this season. 
Oh, what's her name? Ilu ah? No, Ilulu. Ilulu. Okay. Ilu. Eh, Ilulu. <clears throat> she she arrived. She like I don't know. Blasted off the mountain a little bit, and <clears throat> now she wants to destroy the humans and defeat Kobayashi. All that stuff. So they were fighting. Now here's the thing. Uh, obviously the fight was very disadvantageous to Toru because he has to save the whole place and at the same time fight and keep herself self, uh, herself safe. And as uh, told by Elma, she's just uh, Ililu is just a little bit, little bit weaker than Toru. So like that, that's like the main reason why Toru was unable to properly defeat her because she is pretty like, you know similar in power level to toru and she like and toru has to protect the city protect everyone and fight <clears throat> thankfully <laughs> kobashi thought of a good plan she just told elma that i'll give you stuff so you help us <laughs> oh my god and that worked so yeah and uh, now interesting thing here like one thing we actually got to realize from this episode is how the dragons are actually pretty nonchalant about other dragons like they're like okay like you know like unless and until something uh you know, jeopardizes my uh reasons to stay here or jeopardizes me i won't do anything like basically something like that like just like like you no know, elma said that toru is you know toru's main goal here is to save kobayashi and the place so that's why she's fighting for that uh my goal is to protect the humans so i am doing, doing that like you know he, she made that barrier for just for that and she said that if toru loses and ilulu actually tries to harm the people she'll then like you know move so like she, she's true to her duty so she won't like you know move before her duty is jeopardized something like that similar with fafnir and quetzalcoatl so like it's interesting to see that it's not uh what do you call that um it's not uh um, like they don't act as a pack that's basically it like you know like uh I, like i am not sure like if i was i had that impression but i probably had a little impression that maybe like all these dragons if one dragon is harmed or is going to be harmed i thought like maybe the other dragons will come and help them but no it's not like that and i think another reason why they actually do that is because they have like, you know because they know that they each and every dragon is powerful on their own so their pride is also most probably another factor here where they think that yeah like me uh trying to interfere in another dragon's fight is probably something that the other dragon won't like or something like that i don't know like you know like these kind of things like they have faith in each other's and the like you know uh, the other dragon's power as well they're very strong so most probably they're like yeah like even if toru gets defeated nothing will happen she'll just have to rest for one or two days and yeah she'll be as fit as a fiddle again so something like that most probably and uh, like that's why they're so nonchalant and they're like okay like toru's fighting fine unless and until the humans are harmed um i'll stay here elma is just like you know thinking like that so yeah but unfortunately the <laughs> uh what do you call it this the sweet bait that obayashi gave her was effective it was very effective and she was like all right like i might compromise here a little bit and i'll help kobash uh, help toru for a little bit <laughs> and uh, yeah with, with that little help that uh elma did i'm not sure what actually elma did there most probably she kind of i'm guessing isolated the dimension where they're fighting or something so that toru can actually use her full power and uh, yeah now okay I love the fact that <laughs> when Ilulu was actually like transforming into her dragon form, Koashi basically <laughs> took that opportunity to completely destroy her. <laughs> Usually, like you know, like this is whole running gag in anime, especially in Maho Shoujo anime, that like you know, whenever the transformation sequence happens. <laughs> no one does anything like you know they kind of stop and wait for them to actually transform and then they start fighting like you know it's it's, it's a basic 
<laughs> etiquette for maho shoujo and these type of animes but toru here was like nope we're have we're we're having a life and death battle here what the hell is she doing transforming in the middle of a battle i'm going to destroy her in in the middle of it and she was like <laughs> i think like ilu was wasn't even able to transform properly she was just like you know saying that now i'm going to destroy this world with my true form and she was doing her transformation sequence and had like you know kind of in the middle of it and toru just <laughs> like you know used her like beam and just <laughs> destroyed her and then she like opened the gate and completely transported her to somewhere else completely <laughs> oh god that was funny and uh, <clears throat> yeah like a good like like i think that was the correct thinking in that at least in that in that position because otherwise if who knows what what would have happened if she even transformed into a dragon toru toru would have probably have to transform into a dragon as well and it would have been a real mess so yeah like she stopped her before she could even do anything <laughs> and completely transformed uh, transported her to a different dimension and i'm sure she knew that uh, like you know making this gate that they said and il also said like commented on that later that making a gate takes out a lot of a person so she was really surprised how toru was able to do that so easily and i'm sure toru also knew that fact and she like deliberately made the gate and transported her to some other place because she knew that she's weak she has been defeated she is out of energy and she won't be able to make a gate and come back so it it took a, a lot of time for her to actually recover and then like you know ilu i'm talking about ilu to make a gate and come back again <laughs> so yeah that was like a correct decision and uh, she comes down and uh, like she, like the thing that she was actually fussing about like she was thinking like oh like i again gave in to my instincts and you know i thought that only kobayashi needs to live and the other ones can die i don't care but yeah she's a dragon obviously and her priority is kobayashi so i can't probably blame her in that um you know dangerous situation where it's do or die so yeah i guess like i wonder maybe someday like you know toru will really start caring for the humans as well you know uh like, you know she cares about the humans but that's basically because most probably kobayashi you know is a human i am sure that's the reason why she prefers human if, if kobayashi was some other species she would have probably done, wouldn't even give a damn about the humans who knows so <clears throat> like that's why i'm saying like maybe some day she'll actually be able to like you know love the humans on her own and like like i think in season 1 there was this whole thing yeah where she actually realizes that it's not that she actually doesn't care about the humans she has a little bit of affection for them and it's a little bit but still so i'm sure that will change in the future she'll actually care for the humans on her own in the future as time goes on you know where she actually sees that actually realizes that or not all humans are bad like kobashi is the biggest example there so yeah anyways and <clears throat> I don't know what the hell that was the, the whole quest quarter dance and the person who she was talking to in the phone <laughs> she was talking about some kind of train compensation 2 million something like that uh maybe we'll get to know in the future what that was actually about mm yeah and then like we get to the next scene where ilulu actually tries to ambush kobayashi and i was like you know i was pretty sure she actually mistook him uh, her as a maid and that's why he like you know tried to, uh, to pull that whole like you know uh, shenanigan and kobayashi got more pissed because i was <laughs> oh god kobayashi got so pissed at that and she was like like damn you have like you know like like <laughs> you're bothering me and you're, you're actually pissing me off and then they went go to the train and like the way <clears throat> Now Ilulu I'm sure something must have happened in her past where she actually says stuff like you know this is just uh, out of curiosity everything will change in the future you know like and uh, all that stuff 
like she says that it's like a convenient interpretation that you're doing and uh, yeah and then kobashi actually tries to tell her that like no it's not as simple as that like there are bad stuff obviously happening in our lives like it's life is filled with good and bad stuff but that does not mean that like you know the bad stuff does not mean that there's nothing good in the world so you should you know try to bear the bad portions in your life and enjoy the good portions that was basically what she was trying to say here and uh, <clears throat> one thing um that was interesting here uh, kobashi says that don't you distinguish between how you and the other dragons think ilulu says there's no need to they're the same uh, really but the dragon who came up with what dragons should think wasn't you was it like so so, so what she's basically trying to say <laughs> excuse me say here is that this actually a dragon who actually decides on how the dragons should think and all the other dragons follow that is that what she's trying to say here and ilulu did not comment anything about that so i'm guessing that's kind of true in a way that's interesting so like like imagine like someone actually deciding for you how you should think wow that's um I don't know. I don't know if I was able to actually understand that portion. I think that's what actually, yeah, like that's what actually they said in that scene, didn't they? Like when Kobashi asked her that there's a dragon who actually decides what you dragons should think, and Ilulu did not comment on that. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's an. I don't know. Like okay, anyways, I'm sure we'll get more more things in the future, and then they see an actual little. Um, little back story now i'm not sure that the, there are these two people there uh, a little girl and a boy and the girl had a ilulu doll with her and then we see the whole place burning so i'm guessing those two were humans or or were they drag i don't think they were dragons the little the two kids that we saw they were most probably humans and something happened i'm not sure we surely get to know in the future <clears throat> <laughs> and then she gets pissed and <laughs> and then she says that it doesn't didn't work because you're a woman and then she actually transforms her i don't know like she gave her a um, a pee pee <laughs> like i'm guessing that was what what was it because in the end we see koba she actually going to the toilet and she was like what the hell is this <laughs> Now, I don't know what she's actually thinking, Ilulu, maybe, like, she said something like, I didn't, it didn't work out because you're a woman. Like, did she think that the seduction did not actually work because she's a woman and that's why she actually did that? Like, ah, that won't work. Like, you, you can transform her outer appearance, but the inner thing, like, you know, the, the inner person won't change. So, I guess she was unable to properly understand that and she just did that and she thought that, yeah, like, now that I've changed, like, you know, gave her, gave her a genital, now she'll, like, you know, like, a male genital, now she'll, like, now my, like, you know, techniques will work, actually, <laughs> oh, who knows, maybe she's thinking something like that, but, yeah, and then I'm not sure what happened, Fafnir got banned, like, some kind of terms of, like, you know, violating terms of service, and, <laughs> like, Maybe, you know, maybe like Fafnir used some kind of like, you know, superhuman technique to actually play the game. Like, you know, some like amazing reaction time or something like, you know, like just like how you aim bot. Like obviously this is like an uh, RPG type of MMO game that she, he was playing. Maybe he like, you know, like slowed time and actually like, you know, he, <laughs> he used the character to do some pretty like, you know, amazing inhuman stuff, which kind of got flagged because they were so out of ordinary that the system actually flagged him and banned him completely. Like the system thought that she was, he was hacking or something, <laughs> maybe something like that. That's most probably what happened there. And he got banned. Ah, sad stuff. <laughs> oh my god so yeah guys that was it that was my f reaction to Ko miss kobashi's uh dragon mate s 
episode number one so that was a fantastic start a really great start and the animation was too good as we know Kobayashi's animation the fighting scene was fantastic the sense of humor was there everything was there and i loved it so yeah so that was it guys so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of kobayashi's miss kobayashi's dragon maid s so until then goodbye and have a nice day